Hamtech, welcome to my channel. We've got the new Raspberry Pi 5, which actually has an on-off power switch now, which we'll show in a minute. We've just connected our Bluetooth mouse and keyboard to the device. It's working great, and it the, the HDMI output is working great on my monitor, and there's two. So let's just show you my monitor. I, I am just filming using my phone. It's looking great, it's very responsive, and I'm very happy with the interaction between myself, the user. It actually feels as fast as my PC. I'm gonna quickly show you the power off button. If I zoom in again, you can see the power button. I'll, I'll hold it in, it's like a spray, it's quite a small button. I will get a case for this, and we'll hold it in. And you'll see that my screen on my PC now gives me this option. So I'll just press it again and it's it has shut down. You can see we've got the, the red button there. Let's just hold it in again. See how long that takes to boot up. Green light flashing. We, we have already added our Wi-Fi details. Well, that's not bad, is it really? That was what, a minute? And this is the 4GB model, and it's actually underpowered because I haven't got the correct five. You need a five amp power supply for this device. The features that this device has improved on is, is pretty much across the board. You know, it's running my keyboard, mouse, the, the, the monitor, the, even the audio on my, on my you know, monitor here effort, effortlessly. I'll see if I can plug in, plug in that camera as well. Now looking at how fast things connect, I've connected my some of my internet items here. Speed test here for broadband. And it's just, everything is just working as if I was on my normal Windows PC. GPS, it's just super fast. Videos, I've got this video here on my YouTube channel. The audio is working fine and I've got low voltage because I need the correct, you know, the correct power supply. And it's running this monitor no problem at all and the peripherals here just selecting through different items everything's just smooth and fast image viewer now i did i have added the camera but i'm not familiar with linux i'm not really sure how to you know get the camera <laughs> just look in here someone let me know because i'm not saying i use Opening up new browsers very fast. Files. As you can see, I'm just looking here, desktop. So eventually I'll download OBS Studio on this, and then we can really look at things. Command window. New files videos I'm showing you how to open the camera up um let's have a look at accessories anything to do with the camera there so it's not the best image but i thought i'd show you and i'll give you a quick close-up of the pi 5 preferences sound and video VLC player. Can I somehow link up to the camera? Playback? Video? Mm, no. Okay, do that another time. I'll just scroll through the specifications. RP1. And it's all there. I'll put the link in the description. More than twice as fast infinitely smoother and then it talks about the type of processor it says here arm cortex a76 2.4 gigahertz up to 8 gb that's the chip we've got there all aboard the pci express additional pi allows you to connect an m2 ssd to your pi faster speed transfer pi ios so the new Raspberry Pi 
operating system which we're on and then you've got the power button which we saw dual 4k p60 that's the hdmi out one's working well real-time clock uart debug port accessories pi active cooler there's your power supply that you're going to need and a case i have bought a case and then a, a nice long list of all the specifications bluetooth four usb ports we've got a gigabyte ethernet pci 2.0 times one five volt five amp never heard of five amp before that's a lot real-time clock power button video core dual yeah a lot of the items we've already just seen really so yeah I like it and it looks very snazzy in this photograph and in real life this is the actual device and, and, and it's just there everything's there it's the same size as all the other Raspberry Pis but you know years of hardware improvements it's actually not that hot I mean the case I've got coming does have a built-in fan it's running all that and it doesn't even feel that warm I've got my little converter there and I think we've got two amps going into this at the moment and you know let's just end the video by turning it off again just zoom back and we'll just press it once see what it does you get the options then and press it again it goes off bye for now all the best m0fxp raspberry pi 5 2023 20, 2024 fantastic bye for now hamtech m0fxp youtube channel 73 all the best